Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher's Circus. Today, we are going to be playing with the Hit Squad again, and we are against an unnamed Darkest opponent. Playing a very interesting Mark team here, this is kind of what people that kind of just got into Mark teams bring. You know, you just bring Crusader Bounty Hunter because they're a solid frontline, then you just bring Musketeer Arbals. Like, it's very basic kind of stuff, but it does work, it does definitely work. Now, I'm going to go for a pull on my Arbals, I could reply with an immediate Holy Lance, or I could reply with an immediate Reclaim. I'm gonna go for the Reclaim, even though I might get stunned here, because I do want the Rejuvenation out of it. So even though we did pull this Musketeer immediately, we might not be able to, to make use of it quite well. But I did want that Reclaim there, because they do have two shooters, so if they just got an immediate one-shot, well, we wouldn't uh, be having too much fun now, would we? So I could go Holy Lance here or Holy Lance there. Uh, I think killing the Musketeer would be good here. And, you know, she's already marked. And doing some damage is not too shabby either. I do get to go first every single round, so that's a major advantage. I am going to get stunned now. I could flare that. Honestly, I could flare that. Or I could go for a Sniper Shot here. Well, Sniper Shot's a one-shot. Uh, there's more healing. Hmm. Decisions, right? Decisions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a fire here because I think I agree with the stun and the mark is uh, not too bad of an idea. Now the Arbals doesn't really have too good of a target. She could go for a sniper shot anyway on my, on my characters, and like, she will probably hurt. But at least she'll have to deal with the protection because she does not have that piercing quarrel. Okay, she does some decent damage there. I could go for a one shot immediately. What happens after the one shot though is the question. Oh, they have three healers, which is rather annoying to deal with, not gonna lie. But at least I'll lower you down to zero with this. So I don't get a crit out of it, but I'm not like I even needed to because I did get that Holy Lens value into that Musketeer. And right now you're definitely forced to heal because, you know, if you don't... Uh, really? Okay, that's that's a huge misplay right there. Yeah, sure, you get this stun. Sure, my flagellant's not feeling too great, but no. She's probably just gonna die now. 50-50? We don't get the 50-50, but at the very least we get the pull. So you should not risk your game on the 50-50. Like, let's just put it that simply. Like, you should not risk it at least not this early, you know? And it's not even the 50-50 of, of winning or losing the match, because losing there definitely loses you the match. Like, losing the Musketeer there and it's over. But even if you survive with the Musketeer, it's not like you have a major advantage. You know, you just resisted one Death Star check. So interesting that they would go for that, but... Oh well, they can still go for a heal, they can still go for a lot of nasty stuff. Please don't pass. Is that a pass? Is that a pass? I don't know, maybe there might be a little bit of desyncing de action going on or something. They pull my Bounty Hunter to position 1, which is a very interesting play, not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna click here, yeah. I'm just gonna click here and I'm definitely gonna kill that Musketeer by the start of next round. Oh, unless they go for a heal right now and then my, then my Crusader has to do something a little weird. They risk it again, Jesus Christ. This is the darkest one opponent, like one of the greediest darkest one opponents I've ever seen. I'm gonna go for the Holy Lance now. We do not get the 40. <laughs> we missed the 50 and the 40. So I must say we're not getting all that lucky. And we are gonna get sniper shotted here down to zero, essentially. But it's not the end of the world. And you know why? Because we have something called a flatulent. So we can click right there, and we can either go Exagonate, or we could go for a Redeem. And I'm just gonna drop a Redeem here, because that heals me two health bars, and even though I'm still marked, which isn't all that great, your Musketeer is at death door, and she's under a lot of pressure. If you do not go for a heal right now, I will kill this Musketeer, and even if you go for a heal, I will be able to stun her with Stunning Blow, I have Sniper Shot, and I have Finish him. So I'm gonna have to say, this is looking very, very rough for my opponent here. I, I don't know what they're doing, like, I was expecting a Darkest One opponent to play a little bit better than this. I don't know, maybe ranks just don't mean anything. But yeah, we're gonna take that death blow right there on this musky. And I'm gonna have to say, even without them misplaying like this, yeah, that's just a surrender, even without them misplaying like this, it would have still been extremely difficult to deal with the flash one, because, you know, 
reclaims, redeems. You're just down for essentially. They, she couldn't even focus down my my arbles because I had those reclaims there. And if they'd hit me down to their star, just regen out of it immediately and one shot your characters essentially. <laughs> That's how broken this team is. Let's go for another match. All right, and here we go on to a match number two. And this time we have something a little bit different. Not only are we playing against a new opponent with a Leper Plague Doctor. We also have the Butcher's Boulevard music on the background, so this is a, an OST for a new mod for base game Darkest Dungeon. So I think it's going to be essentially a mod based on on the, what you call it, like Butcher Circus gameplay. It's going to have Butcher Circus themed enemies, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I could go for the stun immediately. Could also go for the immediate sniper shot. I think neither of those are really necessary. I'm just gonna stun this leper and uh, get his action out of here because lepers are pretty scary, you know. The purge is annoying to deal with. If you do have a flat shot and they can just keep purging you, eh, eh, this is just annoying. And they can one shot you if they do actually go revenge. So one of the biggest counters to the flat shot because even after you heal, you just drop an entire health bar again. So unlike most other healers, where you'd heal and any other character brings you down to this star immediately, usually that's not what happens with the flat one, but if you're dealing with the leper, that's still what happens with the flat one. So I'm gonna go for... Um, I'm gonna go for Punish here, because I don't feel like I'm particularly in any huge danger here. So just so I get the extra 12 accuracy and 15% damage from going last with the Stabilizing Tiller. After that we should be able to one-shot this Plague Doctor, I don't think she's gonna have too much of a chance here. We do get to go first next round, and they do not have a single source of healing. Now that Harvest is gonna hurt because we have minus Bleed Red, so that's pretty annoying, but... You know, it's gonna take you like, what is it, uh, like three rounds or even four rounds to drop me down to this door just through Harvest. And it only takes me one to, to kill you. That's kind of uh, what Mark teams do, basically. So, Plague Doctor, what are you thinking of doing? If I were her, I would not do that. <laughs> you did not want to activate my flash on healing. That's the last thing you want to do right now. Yeah, she definitely should have gone for the Crusader just to do some damage there. But I mean, even if you do, I'm going to drop her claim on him. So I can counter the DOTs, and then when even if he falls like closer down to the circus of all the amount of DOTs, then I just drop a routine when he's back up to full HP, because it's percentage-based healing, right? Jesus Christ, this team. I'm gonna just drop another Punish here, and see what my opponent wants to do. So, with the Spiked Bat, we have 100% bleed chance every single time, there's no way you can resist it, so that's pretty good. Of course, Count with the Web Solution, I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. Double stun trinkets to stun reliable even against snipers with 50% uh, resistance space. Of course, Bounty Hunter, you know, the setup that you always bring. It's gonna be a crit right there, but I still have two healing characters. Like, do I really care? No, I don't. So I could go for a heal with the Crusader, but... Um, or with the... Or with the Arbals, but I'm gonna go for the heal with the Crusader. Because his actions are a little bit more unreliable right now. Like, this is a 70% hit chance, which I don't feel very inclined to miss. And also because I'm, I'm not forced to get it. And this is a 40% stun chance, so... Just going for the heal of the Crusader and then like dropping at least like not a one shot but almost a one shot with the sniper shots a lot better here. So I'm gonna go for uh, Chester's more important. So I'm gonna go for him, even though it's not a hit chance. I think it's a risk that's worth taking just to take him out of the match because Finale and uh, Dirk Stab are you know considerably more dangerous than this uh, Grave Robber. So it's gonna be a heal right now. Thank you for the for the heals once again. And I'm just gonna heal myself once more, and I can just keep doing this, you know? <laughs> I can do this all day. And essentially, you're gonna see that playing this team. If you play against more experienced players, like, you'll see that you'll definitely go through some hardships. But playing against beginners, you'll finish the match, and you'll essentially feel like you could go for another one with the exact same team. Like, not even... Not even having to heal, get your abilities back, you know? It's, it's just that crazy. I could drop a heal right now, uh, or I could go for a heal with this. Mm, it's actually some. It's actually an important decision. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for an exterminate here, even though it can miss. It's a 90%. You know, I wouldn't recommend going for these. I feel like it's totally fine just to just to heal myself here. It's also because I want to get a kill. Even though I don't have a confirmed hit chance on that Jester, I think it's good enough of a chance that I should essentially take it. 
He's probably gonna drop another Harvest, right? Uh, but he doesn't have that much bleed chance anymore. Oh no, just the solo. Now that means it's a kill on the Leopard, then, like, I really don't mind. Yeah, I really don't mind about that. So just drop him down to zero. A lot of wasted bleeds there, but, you know, who cares? You, you can get to just kill the other characters the good old-fashioned way with mark damage. So, Leopard's gone. The crit is good for me, because, because now these two are... Uh, Firmly in the front line. There's three finale buffs, so that would be 14 to 22 damage. But a spiked bat, it might be like 15 to 23. Yeah, I think it might increase it a little bit. So we are getting put to 13 HP here, which is finale range. I'm gonna drop a stunning blow, even though I'm pretty sure it's not gonna hit. Yeah, maybe I should have dropped the heal on the on the bounty hunter. Yeah, I, I, I don't really care. I don't think even if you drop a finale here, you have a winning chance, because then I'm just gonna one shot you <laughs> after that. And um, and the flies one that's still alive, right? Yeah, so there's the finale, it does 17. Yeah, good job, you, you took one kill. Very good job, man. So we just drop you down to zero now. Yeah, very unnecessary crit, my absolute favorite. And even though I'm down my finisher character, which is definitely one of this team's downsides, I don't have a support finisher, you only have one finisher character. You still have the flash on Twitch, which is amazing for these kind of situations like that. That crit right there just means Grave Robert's dropping down to essentially zero. Also, I said we don't have a support finisher, but I was kind of like, we do have a support finisher, which is the Arvals with the sniper shot if the characters are still marked from the Bounty Hunter mark. Those uh, can definitely sting. Right now, I have a 55% chance of getting the death blow, and I'm gonna go for it. And we take those with another very unnecessary crit. Nice. Look at that, perfect timing with the song too. Now we get just to go for a stun here, essentially premised on this Grave Robber. And yeah, she can't even... well, she can dodge. But resisting the stun is very unlikely, even with the extra 50% stun resistance. Someone was saying that to balance stuns, you should give them... You should give characters that get stunned plus 10% stun resistance for the entire battle. That just stacks, you know, on top of the plus 50. So I think that's kind of like Black Reliquary. I think that would be a horrible idea. Purely based on just how many... Wow, that was an immediate death though. Purely based on just how many teams that can exist in the circus. And some matches go to round 20, you know? And if you can't stun characters, like, your stun abilities become useless. And I don't think that would be... I don't think that would be too cool. I'd say plus 10% stun resistance for like 5 rounds would be honestly acceptable. But yeah, imagine playing to round 20 and then all the enemy characters have, uh, have like, uh, like I don't know, like 200 stun resistance or something. Because you just had like a, a little bit of a more defensive team, like something like a, a stress team. Like imagine, let's imagine these two are stress. Let's imagine we have an abomination here who's doing stuns on important characters, who's also doing this file. And uh, in the back line, uh, I don't know, we'd have like a freaking... Uh, little, little, give me a man at arms. <laughs> give me a man at arms here to drop values. Yeah, you can make something like this. Uh, maybe if it took snap on this man arms, this would be an okay team, but yeah, don't do it. Let's go into another match. So we're playing against the same person because, you know, there's not a lot of people queuing into the ladder right now, which is um, kind of unfortunate, but you already know this one goes down. I'll just skip it to the end because I don't think my opponent has a winning chance here. Alright, and as expected, this match didn't really last all that long, but I didn't even get a finale off this time. Let's just go straight into match number 4. Alright, here we go, on to match number 4. It looks like this one's gonna be a little bit more exciting, because we do have the Blasted Heath in the background, also one of my favorite tasks. And we have a weird team, but it does look competent. It does look like a competent team, so... This is going to be pretty fun to see what happens. So I'm going to go for the immediate stun this Crusader. Actually, he doesn't even have Holy Lands. That is a little weird. So that's going to be like one of the weird things about the team is that the Crusader doesn't have Holy Lands. The other one is that there's an Arbus with Iron Sights, but no Bounty Hunter. So I guess she's here to mark for herself, which is very interesting. And this Flash one's one of the most accurate Flash ones I've ever seen in my life. Okay, also it's a Musketeer, so... She can't uh, flare stuns and marks at the same time, so I get to just go for a pull here and enjoy myself. So I did go second, or did I? Yes, I did go second, which is a blessing in disguise here, because that means I am definitely not gonna miss my opponent. 
I could go for... I'm actually gonna go for a punish on Crusader here. Please give me the bleed. 50-50, we take this. That's why you take this fight, Vance. I could go punish on the Flangeron, but I don't really care about punishing the Flangeron. It's just gonna give him redeem value, and I don't want redeem value right now. I want to kill my opponent's characters. I could go Sniper Shot the Crusader if we get a crit he's at this door, but uh, this is better. Yeah, it's just way more damage. So the Musketeer is down to zero. She does get to go first because my opponent went first, but um, she has to heal herself with Patch Up, after which there's going to be a stun. And oh no, there's a heal first. Or oh, that's risky. That is very risky. That could have failed. Yeah, that could have failed like miserably right there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm just gonna flare away that stun. If, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, look, you only have 70% stun chance with Sacred Plane Rate of Execution. You should not go for those plays. You just gave yourself a 30% chance of losing the match. You should not do that. So she's gonna go patch up right now, and as long as my Holy Lance doesn't whip, I should be able to get the death blow here. Of course, the Jester can move forward immediately, and that's gonna make it a little bit more complicated for me. But I think this is still a okay. Yeah, he's gonna move forward immediately because he's not a dummy. He's definitely not a dummy. And I am not forced to go. Uh, how, do I, how do I say this? Um, I'm not forced to go come hither immediately, but I will. Because I would also like the extra death of a chance with the punish in case she does get pulled but she not get killed. Yeah, and even if that doesn't happen, I was thinking of going to claim on the bounty hunter, which would be an idea. Oh, that's not a good point. I was thinking of that, uh, but yeah, you don't have any extra bleed chance, you're, and you're spreading out your pressure, like, that's not gonna go well for you. I'm gonna drop another punish here, we get another bleed because spiked fat. Yeah, it's just, it's just nasty. And I'm gonna have to say my opponent Confusion must be confused with how his team is just crumbling this quickly. So there's gonna be a harvest here, I don't really care. I don't really care. There's no there's no pressure to actually just finalize that. I can drop a stun here and after I wait out um, the flash on action, the Crusader is gonna bleed down to that star and I'm just gonna get a death blow with finish him. So it's probably gonna be Reign of Stars first. No, it's even gonna be a punish. Okay. Does it get the bleed though? Oh it does get the bleed, so that's pretty annoying. But still not the end of the world. So I'm just gonna drop a heal here on my bounty hunter, which was probably a little bit unnecessary, not gonna lie. But we're gonna get the death blow from that, and then I'm just gonna drop a punish on the flagellant and start attritioning him down. You should be able to stun him as well and just get the death blow uh, eventually next round. Could go for this, but no need. I'm just gonna drop the punish here. I must say I kind of misclicked. I wanted to go for the bounty hunter first, but it's not like it makes a difference. So yeah, we just do that and we take the kill here with thankfully no crit, so there won't be an immediate finale. That would be pretty annoying right now, you know, a finale on my bounty hunter. It could not get enough damage, but it's probably doing like 16 to uh, like 27 right now, I think, because of that Reaper Shroud. There's no Blood Red Coin synergy on the bounty hunter, but yeah, the Reaper Shroud would be really annoying here. I'm thinking of going for a punish first, actually. Yes, let's go for a punish first, just so we apply the bleed, and is that a star? Oh crap it is, okay, that's pretty good, I think. He can only heal himself for 18, which is not that big of an amount, not gonna lie. How does he want to heal himself, though? Probably Exsanguinate, right? Does it hit, is the question. Yeah, it, of course it hits, he has all this extra accuracy. I'm thinking of just getting a death blow on this flagellant here, and uh, I think that would be the best play for me, actually. Yes, uh, this is uh, unnecessary, I think. I can just go for the stun right now. I'm doing a lot of damage to him because he doesn't have Prot and he has Crown of Thorns. Makes him take a, a lot more damage. He's actually stunned, so I don't even have to, you know, go for any weird plays. I can just drop this, one shot the Jester, and next round I just get the kill anyway. I mean, the, the Jester is probably going to finale me, but at least he's going to finale me at this store and with minus death blow resistance, so I'm just going to kill him through Sniper Shot, and of course you can't finish. You can't 1v1 my flash on. Yeah, obviously you can't 1v1 my flash because I still have all the ceiling. So yeah, that's not going to be too good for you. So you're just going to delay this by, you know, dropping a the finale there. Good on you, I suppose. It's really not going to save you there. And right now we get to just drop a sniper shot here. 85% death blood chance. We take those. And then we have two characters here to start taking away at that uh, flash on. So I think I'm actually going to drop a reclaim on this crusader just so I can go for another stun, because, I mean, chance is unlikely, but it's there, so I'm gonna go for it. I mean, I've seen crazier stun chances happen, 
So I'm gonna heal myself here, and I'm gonna go for it. Also, if I get a crit, the chance is even higher. And we don't take it sadly, but oh well. If there's another Exsanguinate right now, it only heals him for 9, so I don't really care. Yeah, it's gonna be another Exsanguinate chopping me down to 0. Does he get the bleed again? No, he does not, but that's enough, actually, that is enough, so I've gotta heal myself out of this store here. I don't really mind. After this, I'm just gonna go for another stun first. Yeah, because he has no more bleeding, so I think this is the best play. Yeah, we do just enough damage with that. 6 to 10 because we're actually at this store, so normally it would be 7 to 10 with the stunning blow. And now we're gonna drop a punish. You're stunned, you're at this store, you're dazed, and you don't have your action for round 7. And I have 3 actions for round 7. So even though this was um, kind of a well thought out team, or you know, it looked like a well thought out team, there's just nothing you can do because it's the hit squad. So I go for that double stun, sadly don't get it. Of course, Flagellant has more stun resistance, always at this store. And now we drop it to Punish, he lives, he freaking lives with 4 minus death blow resistance chances. And I suppose I'm just gonna do this, you know, I can't really do anything else. I would move forward with the Arbalist, but she can't even move forward, she just has Arbalist brain, you know? She, she's kind of like a crab if you look at it. <laughs> she, the way she moves around with like Bola and how she has her legs positioned, like you see all the other characters, like they're standing up normally, right? Not her, she's setting up like she's always squatting or something. And my opponent doesn't delay this any further than it has to be, and uh, we just get the stun and go death first, so let's move on to another match. Alright, and here we are... wait, are we? Uh, did I click the right button? Yes, I did. Okay. Here we are against the Darkest 2 opponents, so they must be uh, very excited, very agitated to get to that Darkest 1. And they are bringing what looks like a defensive stress DOT team which repost. So some interesting stuff going on right now. I could go for Bull on the Antiquarian, that's definitely a play. Could go for a mark on the man at arms and just try to one shot him like that. Uh, I don't really care about retribution. But there's no protection on this Jester. I mean there's no monkey spots what I'm trying to say here. Um you know what, I'm gonna go for a pawn on the Antiquarian just because I don't want to let her get uh, Rejuvenation off. I don't think Rejuvenation's too on to deal with, especially when I don't have really a way of hitting the transfer to counter it. So she's gonna do take cover. both of us pass it, basically pass on action there, so who cares. I'm gonna go for a Stunning Ball on this Crusader now, no Zell's acquisition for you. I'm tickling in terms of damage, but oh well. Also, the music on the background is the Senescence, so another one from the Color of Madness DLC, one of the best ones too. I mean, everything Stuart Chatwood does is amazing, so... Yeah, there's gonna be a Defender there, so... Good play, good play by my opponent. I get to go first? Uh, no, I get to go second. Yeah, that's pretty annoying then. But, alright, I'm gonna go for a Punish here, and because of my Spiked Pad, I have a really good chance of bleeding, which is an 85, but, you know, good chance is not confirmed. So, there's actually gonna be I don't think that's a good play. There's gonna be a battle ballad. Well, nah, maybe it is a good play because you kind of need the accuracy. But yeah, went for that battle ballad despite being a little bit on the side of unnecessary. Because, you know, my maximum dodge is 10, but oh well. I'm gonna go for this sniper shot here. We get the crit for 17, so I would love to have this man at arms punished and bleeding down to zero, but you know, sometimes you fail the 85% bleed chance. So <laughs> he's gonna go retribution, which I. I think it's very unnecessary, not gonna lie, especially since you just wasted your regen value, so you're not gonna regen for this round, let me tell you that much, even if you drop the rejuvenating papers right now. So it's probably gonna be a harvest, yes, there goes the harvest, and it's gonna start slowly taking away at my characters, but I'm still not overly preoccupied about that. So now I have a mark, I have plus damage versus marked, and I get another crit out of it, because Arbos thinks, right? And even though you have 60 prot, and like, they're a past, do you think I care? Do you think I care about Retribution with a team like this? No, I just really don't. So yeah, this Man of Arms is most likely dead here, so <laughs> there's gonna be Rejuvenating Vapors. Despite him already, you know, going down to zero essentially. I'm gonna drop the Punish, I don't get the 55, but I do get the bleed out of it, so even if I don't get the kill right now, he'll be able to get the kill next round, because he's not gonna have regen to deal with it. And instead of just going for like a 60 or something right now, I'm just gonna go for... I could go zealous, actually, it's a 70. I don't think that's necessary. I'm gonna go for a 70 on the Crusader because I don't wanna let him get uh, zealous accusation value. 
And even though we have plus stone resistance, if I get the crit out of it, you know, I get another 20% stun chance and it's a 90 to stun, even with the extra stun rest. So, you know, maybe that person suggests, you know, plus 10% stun resistance for the match would be good. I think it would be a little bit too much. Yeah, because men at arms, I mean, let's imagine that a round uh, that's like a match between strength teams and damage teams like last like six rounds, right? Uh, by six rounds, the outcome should be totally decided. Let's so imagine you stun the man around three times. If he gets like, like one twenty percent stun resistance permanently, just because of numbing instance, like you're just never gonna stun him again, and unless you have flatulent or you know like a really good mark team like this. Like most mark teams are just screwed. They are screwed entirely. So it's going to be actually very interesting festering vapors. They're not using your final action with this mana arm, so I mean, I don't care. I'll just take it then. And uh, after that, we're definitely going to kill this transistor. So the anti-current is going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with, but um, it's not impossible, obviously. So I'm going to keep going for the stunning blow. Of course, that our damage is kind of getting negated entirely, so it's basically as if we're almost just passing rounds. Because there's protection, there's regen, right? Regen is one of the best tools to deal with stuns. So, this guy is probably getting finaled. I could try and prevent that. Um, doing that would be a good idea. Um, how many finale buffs are there? Three? That's pretty annoying. I could also get finale here, but that's very unlikely. So, I'm gonna go for punish. It's a 75 because you don't have Pocky Spawn. And there goes your region value. So I really want to drop a sniper shot right now, but I'm not sure that would be the best play, because then I'm just going to get finaled. Ah, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do this, because I don't really want to get finaled. Not because I think I'm going to lose, but purely because it's going to take way longer to finish this match. And I don't want that. I really don't want that. So, yeah, this gesture is still not in the place where you want to be. You can't finale anyone right now, so... No, you need a crit. Wait, really? Wow. 14 to 25 and takes it. Okay, then, that's really annoying. But such is the way of the Butcher Circus, or so I've been told. So right now I'm gonna bait my opponent into... Acting with their Antiquarian, which is gonna be a huge mistake, because I'm gonna shoot the corpse and I'm gonna stun her. And uh, she's not gonna enjoy it, let me tell you that much. So yeah, she's gonna go for that. After this, I'm gonna shoot the corpse, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stun her ass. And she's not gonna have a good time here. So we do that, and now we get to go for an 85% chance of just stunning her. There's The region will wear out eventually, too. Actually, the punish is countering the region right now. Or the region is countering the punish, depends on how you look at it. So we're gonna do that, and obviously Zealous doesn't really do too much right now, even though you just get your Zealous value, because it basically only activates my healing, and I don't really care too much. Yeah, I mean, I'm dropping down to the 6 HP, but can you really make it um, cause any difference? Not really. So I just drop another stun there on the Crusader, say goodbye to your action, and I should be able to get a death flow, like, yeah, eventually, sometime soon. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit. I could go for a sniper shot first, or I could go for a punish. Uh, I'm gonna go for a punish, just so I start countering that region again. And, wow, that's a good crit. That is a good crit. Good job, Flashland. Very good job. We appreciate those. Now it's probably gonna be a dark snap. Uh, into my flash one, just drop him down to zero, but that is going to heal my other characters, so I really don't mind. Well, it's going to be a harvest instead, 30% chance of getting the bleed, takes it of course, <laughs> and uh, now because of the punish, you do not have reach to take her out of uh, Death Storm. So if I did have the bounty hunter right now, yes, the Senti Garn would be dead, but you know, he just got finale a little bit too quickly for my taste. What can you do about it? What can you do about it? She's going to go protect me. Uh, I mean, sure, yeah, now you're protected by the stunned character, which, it works, you know, it's it's stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid, he's like, oh my god, it actually worked, I've never seen that before in my life, that works, so I'm just gonna drop a punish right now onto this crusader, after which I'm gonna stun him, and if you do want to drop any of my characters down to this store, I'll just go for a heal at the Arbalist, and I don't really care, I could also drop a zealous here, which... I don't think it's that smart. I mean, I think getting stuns would be better, right? Yeah, the hit chances are shaky too. 
So let's just do this. There goes your guard. Right now, there's probably going to be my flagell drop to zero because if you don't, I mean, I'm just going to sniper shot you. Now, just another harvest. Okay, I don't care. Like, thing is, you can keep attritioning my crusader down to zero, but I'm just going to have redeem very, very soon. And I mean, I have redeem right now. But I'm just gonna have Redeem and I can bring his HP back to essentially two thirds, because again, percentage based healing, right? So she might go take cover here. After wow, you got both bullies on that. Jesus Christ. So yeah, she's gonna take cover right now, so I'm just gonna stun this. Um, I'm just gonna stun this gesture here, because I think this is a good play. Just get his action out of the match, and then I'm gonna punish someone too. So you're taking a decent amount of damage there. I'm gonna punish the Jester and then I'm gonna go Pola to get double the value. So this is countering that regen nicely. And then Bola is gonna call to that stores and after this Bola you're kinda of screwed. Because the Anticoin is also gonna go out of out of position because of the knockbacks, right? So very likely to knock back this Jester. And you're not even gonna get more regions. Yeah, your regions are dumb. Your HPs are over. They're finito. And I'm not. I'm not gonna let my flagell die here. And honestly, as long as the flagell stays alive, we're chill. So there's gonna be yet another harvest. I get a dodge on it, which is pretty fun. Not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna click my crusader here and go for a heal because I don't need to do anything else. Just keep my herbalist alive and well. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear the vacuum in the background, but you know can't shut that one off. There's people using it. So this Crusader, is he gonna go for a heal too? No, he's just gonna go immediate zealous. Okay then. I should be able to, yes, be out of this store there. And I think I'm just gonna go for... Uh, I'm just gonna go for a heal here with Redeem. You know, let's just drop that. Keep this Crusader alive and happy. Don't forget I have Sacred Blade, by the way. <laughs> so if you do actually get me result checked, I could just go virtuous, so you can't resolve check to flagell because it's gauntlet. And I could just go virtuous with this crusader, which you're really not gonna enjoy. And right now it's all the time, baby, so double death blow chance, and we're gonna roll for it, we don't get either. And again, just letting my bounty hunter get finale it basically meant that this is just gonna take longer to to finish off the match, but you don't really have a chance. There's gonna be another Zealous right now, here comes the resolve check. Do I go virtuous is the question. The question everyone wants answered. No, I go selfish, which is not a good one to get, but oh well. I'm gonna go first on this Antiquarian because she's annoying me, and after that there's gonna be another Bola and Punish, and hopefully some death blows sometime soon, <laughs> I'm gonna say so. Yeah, my opponent went first, by the way. They went first, which uh, definitely a big advantage for them, but they kind of wasted it on going battle ballot. <laughs> and they wasted their very lucky finale roll. I mean, didn't waste it, but they got a very lucky finale roll, but didn't manage to capitalize on it. Because even though you're resisting the Death Star checks, you're still not killing my characters, which is what really matters. You only killed the Bounty Hunter, but you can't kill anything else. So I'm gonna drop this punish. The anti current is finally gone. A little bit of stress, I don't really mind. The Jester is gonna go flick at here. Give me Masochistic. Nah, that's selfish. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. But, uh, you know, it should be over rather, rather soon. Because Flagellant could obviously just 1v2 right now. Oh, that's gonna be an interesting act out. No, it's just a Harvest. Crit! Harvest Crit too. Wonderful. I suppose this is a Punish turn. No, it's a Surrender turn. So GG2, HFE, and let's move on to another match. Alright, and here we are against another Darkest 1 opponent, or I think Solnus Darkest 2 as well. And it looks like we have Town in Chaos also on the background, so one of my favorites. And we are playing against the Hellion Mark team? Yeah, this is gonna be a funny one. I can see that much already. I could... Yeah, it's kind of like a mix and match between Mark and Stress. This is weird. This is a weirdo comp, not gonna lie. Okay, how do we handle this? I could go for a pull on that occultist, could go for a mark. Uh, I'm gonna drop a mark on the Arbalist, because I do want to kill her sometime soon. Maybe I should have gone for a pull on the occultist? I don't know, this is a weird team, I'm just gonna go with the, with the normal player. Let's go for some pressure like that. I'm just gonna go for the immediate sniper shot, I think. Well, depending on what my opponent does, right? If they go for a pull on my Arbalist, then I'm just gonna drop a Holy Lance and take it from there. Let's see, what do they want to do? They do have two pulling characters, one of them 
his flesh pound grimoire right here is net, so I can essentially forget um, actually using my, my Arbalist's turn. And um, all right now isn't too bad. It's not too good either. Mm, I'm gonna go Holy Lance here. 70% hit chance to get a crit out of it, that's really good. Yeah. It's just Holy Lance moment right there. I mean, we're gonna get pulled again, which. Uh, oh no, actually, we're not. It's gonna be a sniper shot. Let's see, do you get the crit out of it? No, you do not get the crit out of it. Interesting stuff. Which means we can. We can definitely get the crit on that. Um, are we forced to? Who goes first, right? I do. Okay, that's really good. So I'm gonna drop a sniper shot here. Do you have to heal? Yes, you do. So it's gonna be a slot machine heal on that. We just got the crit anyway, so wouldn't really have mattered all that much. And after this, we're gonna drop Reach and on the Arbalest just to make sure she she stays alive and well. That's really what we want here. We also got the minus death resistance, so you really have to heal right now. Well, not right now, but you have to heal this round. So there's gonna be an if it bleeds rolls for five because I mean alien. And I'm gonna do this because you're not even bleeding me for enough. Yeah, I reach in for six. You only bleed for for four. It's alien. Don't play alien. <laughs> Seriously, don't play alien. It's just just asking to lose. So there's gonna be a crit right there for, for six. Um, I don't really wanna I don't really want a sniper shot actually. I'm gonna drop a stunning blow on this okay. I'm gonna go for a 90 on the bounty hunter. I'm gonna whip it because such is the way of the butcher circus. That's actually really bad here. Then it's really annoying, not gonna lie. Let's see, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna shoot my my arbalist? Do you wanna go for a pull on my arbalist? Both are reasonable. Yeah, she goes for the pull. Which is very annoying here, mind you. And I'm just gonna... I could move back, but... Uh, yeah, I'm in a rough spot here, because I failed that stun. Failing that stun, not gonna lie. That's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be really rough to deal with. Failing that stun is very... Very annoying. Maybe I should have kept my, my Crusader action, I'm not too sure. Yeah, she's gonna go for a Wicked Hack or something right there. Onto this Arbalist. I can't believe I'm gonna lose this one, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna lose against fucking Hellion. Yeah, I'm actually losing against Hellion because I failed that stun. Holy Mary, Mother of Joseph. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go for... Um... I'm gonna go for a punish now, right? Yeah, let's drop this punish here. So surely I get to hit this 90. There we go. So yeah, that 10 dodge, you know, a little bit of a trollish 10 dodge. I say a little bit, but it's not a little bit, it's very, very trollish. So he has a 75% chance of getting the death, but does he take it? Yes, of course. He takes a 75. And we are just gonna move forward here because I think we need to. Or we could go for come hither. Come hither is also not a bad idea. Come hither or move forward. I'm gonna move forward. Because I really need my my bounty hunter to get some death flows here. Yeah, I think this is gonna have to be the play. I mean at least Hellion is dazed and I still have flash on right, so he still have shots. But Sicultus with the healing and the, the pulls really annoying stuff. Really, really annoying. But do not despair, we can still win this one easily. Yeah, easily. No worries. Alright, Darbalist, what do you want to do? One shot my Bounty Hunter, right? Yeah, she's gonna go for a Sniper Shot, and she's gonna get a Mineral. Okay, it's not too bad then. And we are gonna drop... I mean, Holy Lance gets met with a heal. I'm gonna drop a Punish here. I need some I need some counter pressure, and that's hopefully... Yeah, Bounty Hunter dropping down to zero, so that's really good. If you heal, like, the play right now for me would be to go Holy Lance and then he heals for like zero, like that would, that would just be wonderful, if that's what would happen. But we should be able to get a death blow here if he if he drops the heal on the Bounty Hunter, yeah. We should be able to get a death blow sometime. So he's gonna do that, and I'm gonna go for a little bit of a weird play, but you're gonna have to trust me. I'm gonna do this, because I need the damage from Holy Lance in case the heal is a little bit bigger. It's just so I can kill this Arbalist. I'm forced to do this. I am literally forced to do this. So if this heals for, like, her entire health bar, I think I'll lose. Okay, how much does it heal for? Two. Okay, then we should be fine. Should definitely be fine, because we get to go first next round, and the Arbalist doesn't dodge, and uh, that means she's dead now. So I'm gonna say huge misplay by me to miss a 90% stun. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, huge Vince misplay by me to do that. Actually, an uppercut here would be really annoying. Please don't taste. I have 50% stun resistance. Oh god. <sighs> of course. Of course, that is really annoying. Alright, and yeah, I'm dazed. Dazes are, dazes are a mess to deal with. Okay, I guess this is gonna be another punish turn then. Actually, I do have my my HP back. I guess I have to go for another stun. 75% hit chance, but we take it, thankfully. Yeah, being dazed is really annoying, because now I just can't kill the Arbol. She's, she's just gonna heal herself, right? Uh, yeah, probably. She's probably just gonna heal herself. I will probably drop a punish on this bounty hunter there. Hopefully not miss it because of uh, Yomp shenanigans. Oh, he's gonna go for heal of the occultist, so heals for six. Okay, not too shabby for you, I guess. And right now, oh damn it! All right, even if I drop punish here, there's gonna be a heal. That's considering the punish hits. The music is cool though. The music is pogging. Not gonna lie. Yeah, if that, if that, it's not even the push failing, if that stun had failed, like it was a 70% chance of getting the daze, if that had failed I would be very very happy here, but yeah, wishful thinking. It's gonna be the battlefield bandage now, and if I move forward, uh, I have to deal with two actions right now. Getting pushed to four is also super annoying. Definitely not a not a culture stern. Okay, think, think, think. A pull is an idea. I could probably capitalize on a pull. Yeah, let's go for it. I can probably capitalize on it. I'm gonna have to get a little bit lucky with um, with the death flow, but I can probably capitalize on that. She died like round uh, two, right? Because there was a an uppercut round three. Yeah. So the Arbol died round 2. Let's see what else happens. You look at this double pull team, so annoying to deal with. Yeah, so freaking annoying. You know, if every match was easy, then this wouldn't be fun, right? So there's gonna be a Yelp right now, and after that's just gonna be a pass. Oh god. Oh god, the minus accuracy. I'm considering going for a heal to just get rid of it, but I don't think I have the time. I really don't think I have the time here. Yeah, I have to go for a stun. 65. Oh, the chances. <laughs> the chances. <laughs> oh, freaking Yop Hellion. Why is she being remarkably useful? useful, you know? She should not be useful any day of the week, but no. Okay, if you don't go for heal right now, I'm gonna go Caltrops and get the death blow. Yeah, she's gonna go for heal. Please don't heal for your entire health bar or something. Okay, 12 is reasonable. As long as I get to bleed on this, I need to get to bleed. Please. Okay, thank god. Okay, so there is a bleed there, and now the bounty hunter is out of position, so he can't go for uppercut shenanigans after I move to position 2, and after that the Arbos should be dead. So yeah, one small misplay, which is going for that risky stun, just led to this match being a lot more complicated, but it's not over. You know, we're gonna go down kicking and screaming is what they usually say, but we're not gonna go down. Because now she's gonna pass, right? And um, by the start of next round we will be able to get a confirmed death blow. And after that I still have a flash onto the 14 HP. Which means I'm ready to drop a redeem on anyone I like. And of course Crusader Virtue Chance, Flyage Rond Cult of Absolution, the Hellion does basically nothing to me. And once the occultist goes positions 1 and 2, oh boy he's done for. Oh boy, he's so done for. Alright. So there's gonna be a finishing right there. Gets a crit, of course. Of course there's a crit. And now you bleed down to this door, so spiked bad value to actually do enough damage and to actually get the bleed. And now say goodbye to your little arbalist. We take her. So not getting the crit there with the finishing, I guess, is a thing. Uh, maybe I would have liked it, maybe I wouldn't, I'm not entirely sure, but right now it's probably going to be a wicked hack, right? Or maybe an if it bleeds. I mean, the hit chances are so garbage. Oh, even a breakthrough, okay, that, that doesn't really mean too much. I am going to go for a heal right now, just to bait actions into my bounty hunter, because they're not, they're not really going to do anything for you, because I have basically more actions, and also to clear my divas. What do you mean you have more actions, Shep? You only have three. Well, yes, but my actions are way better than yours. You have a Hellion, <laughs> and you have an Occultist without Mark Synergy anymore. So there's gonna be a finish him right now, and uh, you know what we say to that finish him, right? Yes, we say redeem big boy heal. 
and we heal for 22 HP, which is a very decent amount. So there is plus damage versus marked, so we could actually make use of this vulnerability hex, but my opponent is pretty screwed right now. I'm gonna go for a pull. Pulls don't matter anymore. Yeah, because my characters can't really get disrupted. I mean, the only way you could get totally disrupted is if the flagellant goes to 3. Like, that would be pretty annoying, but if it's not gonna happen, nah. No, it's gonna be a vulnerability hex. Give me the virtue. Come on, I deserve this virtue. They got the 10%. Uh, give me the, the 30. They're all paranoid. That's one of the worst. Jesus Christ. I guess not all is one. Not all is one in that case. I'm gonna go for a Holy Lance here. Hopefully there's a heal for zero. I mean, you can always hope for, for the heal for zero. Maybe. Maybe. Wishful thinking, right? Yeah, I mean, he hasn't been too lucky with his heals. He healed for like 2 and a 6. So that wasn't too great. I think he also healed for an 11, for a 12 on the Arbalest. So there's gonna be an 11 right there, I called it. <laughs> and now we could go finish him, which doesn't really accomplish too much. Or we could go for this, which accomplishes a little more. Uh, how much does it accomplish, though? Yeah, it accomplishes a little bit. I think this is a Caltrip's turn, because I don't really have any immediate like kill pressure. So I'm just gonna do this and kind of just add to my punished DOTs, I believe. So there's gonna be a finishing right now. You have to still recovery and I've called to the absolution, but you get the max roll on that because just this. And I'm gonna drop the punish here. Thankfully I hit though. I'm getting pretty lucky with these hits, despite the, the terrifying yelp. I am loving those uh, those lucky hits. So now she's essentially dropping down to zero and she's taking another 12 DOT, so it's gonna take like three turns. And it's gonna be the and if it bleeds on me right now. Uh, I don't really care. I'm gonna move back, okay, move back into a holy land, sure. I mean, the problem here is that the flash one can't reach position 3, so even after a heal, I can't go, like, punish and then just death blow, which is pretty annoying, but no well. So we have to deal with this, it's gonna be a weird reconstruction right now, heals for 15, and I'm kind of in a rough spot, kind of in a rough spot here. But I have to go for her punish here just to drop her down to zero, just to make sure that she doesn't go wicked hack for 12. Which should be really annoying here, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, she's gonna have to heal. Oh no, she doesn't have to heal. Why would you not even have to heal? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't believe I almost died to this shit ass comp. So yeah, there's gonna be not quite enough on that. And I think I'm gonna pull the, um, the bounty hunter after that, just so I can start going for stuns. So she is going to be able to drop a breakthrough, but I'm not really too too concerned about it. Yeah, I mean, she has like, what, uh, 90 accuracy? Yeah, she has plus 16 here. So maybe maybe she gets some hits, but that doesn't really matter too much. Should I go for the trade with the finish him on the Hellion? Or should I go for a heal with Redeem? What do you guys think? I think I should go for the best play, which is heal to redeem. I mean, if you can heal up two health bars, then why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna do it. Imagine if I got a crit heal on that too, that would be my entire health bar returning to me, which would have been wonderful. I mean, I think I, I can definitely win the 2v2 between Crusader, Flagellant, and uh, and these two monkeys. But then again, I don't think it's necessary to go for something like that. I was probably gonna be a heal, but I might even do enough damage, and even if that happens, I just kill the bounty hunter, and I'm even happier with that. So, let's see, what do you do? Bounty hunter is gonna go for maybe... maybe a pull, just so I get disrupted? With a holy match or something? No, another 19 roll, like the other one was 20, this one was 19, Jesus Christ. Okay, well we just take that kill then, and then we're just gonna stun the bounty hunter. Hopefully this time it'll hit! <laughs> so this was definitely not quite as easy of, an, of a match, because I did go for some very, very silly misplays. And there's gonna be a heal right there, like, I don't really care about that, I just drop a stunning blow here, and this time we hit! Alright, so we're gonna get the affliction on that too, and now it's beyond GG. Crushed by justice! I agree, Chris Snyder. I totally fucking agree. So, the bounty hunter is down at this door, you can go for a heal right now, but after that, well, I'm just gonna drop the zealous or another stunning blow even. And then I'm just gonna take the death flow, and it's gonna be only a matter of time until your cultist comes to position 1 and meets my flashlight. 
So it's actually healed for 20, so that's a little bit on the annoying side, not gonna lie. Can I do 15 damage? Not really. I'm gonna have to go for the finish him here just so I bring him down to zero. And after that I'm gonna go for two death blow chances. And uh, one of them should get it, potentially. I could also get this stun here, it's a 55% chance of getting it, so I wouldn't mind it. Let's see, nope, we don't take it. And the punish... The punish... Takes a death blow, so that's pretty good. We get to bleed too, so you're bleeding down to zero, your corpse is going away soon. Yeah, there she goes. And it's only going to be a matter of time until you go to position one. Well, let me tell you, I could have like just a shot right now with no exsanguinates, and I'd still win, because that's just how broken he is. And especially because you only have vulnerability next, you're doing like, what, one damage on my flash? Because that minus 90 damage mod? Yeah. Just surrender, like, there's no point continuing this. You had the upper hand, but then it's not like you threw it because you played Hellion. Yeah, so you kind of threw it that way, if you want to put it like that. So he's going to go for a pull, which is purely annoying. But I'm just gonna drop a come hither right now. Could have dropped just Holy Lance um, and then just finish him. Like, that was a possibility. But I'm just gonna move back with the. F oh god. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop a Punish here and then the Occultist should, um, should die very soon. So my idea there was to move back over a stun and then just stun again and finish him and he's gone. But yeah, looks like the, um, the Crusader had other ideas. I mean, I guess he's paranoid, so. Maybe I should have seen that one coming. And the cult is sticking out to zero. Please don't go for a self heal. Like, come on. Please don't do it. <laughs> He's gonna go for a self heal. Like, if you're this kind of player, if you're a cash, a cash sing right now, like, just surrender. There's no point continuing this match. You've lost already. There's really no point doing this. I'm just gonna move back with the bounty hunter now. Hopefully, the crusader doesn't say no again, because that would be terribly uncool. And I'm gonna drop that stunning blow right there. And yeah, now it's over for sure. Because you can't heal yourself for like 15 again. It's just occultist things. I think he's the only character that can permanently heal himself, being the last character alive. He is the only character that can do that, right? Uh, yes, Crusader can do it, but only with someone else. So he, he's kind of a, an empath over there. Alright then, we take that and let's move on to the next one. Alright, oh wait, no, that's the wrong number. <laughs> okay, uh, that was kind of a misclick right there, but yeah. Uh, we are gonna go into a rematch and we get to go first again. So I'm thinking of actually just pulling that Arbalest rather than marking her because she's the only damage dealer here, and if she's in position one, she's not enjoying herself. So now we have the Sprawl soundtrack on the background, one of my favorites too. Actually, maybe my favorite, yeah, after the Butcher Circus song, obviously. So we are going to get pulled to position 2 here, which is of course annoying, but we get to drop a Holy Lance uh, on the Bounty Hunter, which misses, but you know, what can you do? If you do want to drop a ball right now, it is a little bit risky, because if you get the push on my Crusader, then you're enjoying yourself, but if you don't get the push on my Crusader, then you're not enjoying yourself, but of course there's double pull. This team, this team is so bloody annoying to deal with, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a punish here onto the Arbalest <laughs> that failed the bleed. <laughs> because spiked bat doesn't want to work today. And after that, we might move back twice because yeah, we're gonna move back twice. There's gonna be wicked hack. <sighs> of course. And we're just gonna move back twice here. Hopefully don't get the knockbacks. Like, come on, don't get the knockbacks with the bullet. If she moves back twice, it's a mistake, because then I can do sniper shot shenanigans. Let's see, what does she want to do? Oh, she's going to move back twice. Okay, then sniper shot shenanigans it is. I could go for a reclaim first, but I just want to get a crit here. Give it to me. Oh, that's not a one-shot. It's almost, but it's not. Not quite a one-shot. That's really annoying, actually. Yeah, that is pretty freaking annoying. How are we going to deal with that? Hmm. Maybe I should have just dropped the Reclaim on my Arbalest. I mean, I was not expecting to get created by a Wicked Hack for 22. That's really, really dumb. Is he actually just going to go for another pull? Jeez, he is. Okay, then. Um, I guess the play is probably to, to just drop a come hitter here, then. We roll for two, thankfully. 
And we do get the pull on that, so now this uh, Arbalest is in a rough spot. She is definitely in a rough spot. I still have 9 HP, so I should be able to resist some, some nastiness that uh, does eventually come down. Let's see, Salt Machine heal, how much do you heal for? 8. Okay, that's not a huge amount. I'm gonna drop another Punish here. This time we'll get... Uh, actually... Um, dropping a claim here would be really smart. Yeah, like really, really smart. No, oh, I wanna do both. I can't, I have to drop the claim. I wish I had gotten the punish last round, like that would have been wonderful, but yeah. I'm gonna drop the claim right now just so I stay out of this storm. And I'm, even if you go for a one shot here with, and do 9 damage, I can still heal myself, and after that I get to act first. With the Arbalus, so I'll be, I'll be alive. So there's gonna be a Wicked Hack right now, does just enough, of course. I mean, she'd definitely do enough, she has like 9 to 17 base, so... The only way she'd do not enough is if she rolled for 8, because of my 5% protection, so I'm gonna drop a heal right there, after which you're probably gonna drop a Bola. And that's definitely gonna do 5 damage, but after that, I'm gonna reach out of this store, and I'm gonna drop a Bola myself. And you're gonna be in a little bit of a rough spot. So yeah, that's gonna do enough. Knocks back the Flagellant. Wonderful stuff. And right now I'm gonna do my own bullet too. Please don't knock back the Herbalist. Please don't knock back the Herbalist. Oh, I knock her forward. Jeez, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess it's just Hellion Gaming, right? Someone decided giving her 15% move rest was a good idea. So yeah, I don't mind if I, if I take one of those for myself. Okay then. Another salt machine heal incoming, yes. And heals for four this time, which is definitely not a lot. Um I'm gonna trade Arbalus here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna trade Arbalus here, so I'm gonna do this. Which means that the Arbalist is dead after I move forward with the Bounty Hunter. But that also means that my Arbalist is dead. The wicked hack finish him, because I don't have my redeem heal available just yet. I could have gone for something else, I could have just moved forward and just taken it from there, but yeah, I was just gonna do this. So there's gonna be a wicked hack right there. There's very likely just gonna be a death blow. I mean I said very likely it was like confirmed death blow. Actually no, it's a 75. It could it could fail. <laughs> it could actually fail, believe it or not. That would be pretty funny if it did, right? Seeing you getting punished for bringing a red Yaris net, I would love seeing that, but yeah, we're probably not gonna see that happen. Let's see, finish him 75. I've had like 80s fail consistently, but no. Nah. And we are just gonna move forward here because we don't want any funny business. And then we're gonna take this Arbalest. And again, we have Flagellant, you don't. We have Redeem Heals now, and uh, this Arbalest should be dead sometime soon, as in right now. And after that, should be just a smooth, th a smooth sailing to taking out this uh, this team. That seems just purely annoying to deal with, because you have two pulls, right? You have Salt Machine heals, like, it's just really annoying to deal with. Especially if you have an Arbalest without snuff, but... Yeah, other than being annoying, like, this team doesn't really hold up for much, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna drop a Punish right now, I'm not overly concerned, and... oh, we get a crit on it too, so say goodbye to your Hellion HP. We don't mind that at all. And after that, maybe a pull? Uh, no, there's no more pulls available, because, I mean, the Arbalest is gone already. Going for a pull here doesn't really do anything for you. And she died round uh, 4, right? Yeah, she died round 4, let's remember that. Kind of a late kill, not gonna lie. Let's see, what does this bounty hunter want to do? What do you want to do, little, uh, little BH? It's gonna go for a finish him. Get some mineral out of it, so finally no crits. And I'm just gonna drop a Holy Land here, so the Hellion is almost down to zero, which is very much appreciated. There might be a heal here, but after a heal I just uh, get a stun, and there's still bleed, so I don't, I don't think that's really gonna change the situation too much here for uh, Akash. So yeah, there's a heal for 20, so very good roll on that, but I'm gonna drop the stun right now. Again, 90 to hit, 85 to, to stun. You can definitely see those fail, which is really annoying, as we saw last match, but if it doesn't fail, then yeah, you should be enjoying yourself. Right now, if the Punish does enough damage, uh, she will be dead. So I have plus damage because I dropped the Death Snow and I have the Spiked Fat. So it's a 6 to 12, and with a very decent crit chance, so the Helen is gonna drop down to zero here. Of course, there's still Salt Machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
eyes. I mean, it should be over pretty soon. Right, should be, should be technically. Can Akash pull this back? Maybe. I mean, if you get, if you keep getting big heals like that, then yeah, you have a shot. I'm gonna do this. One plus two equals three. So I'm gonna do that just so she takes down to Death Star with it. I actually don't get the debuff for Pulse Strength taken, despite it being an 80% chance. I love it. He's gonna drop a Caltrops in return, which doesn't really accomplish much for you. It accomplishes more for me than it does for you, so doing that wasn't really the correct play if you if you ask me right now, but okay. I don't really want to waste Redeem Valley. I don't think I'm forced to take it as of right now. Instead, I'm just gonna turn the tables a little bit. I'm gonna go for Pulse Occultist. Kind of give you a taste of your own medicine, right? Give Akash a taste of his own medicine. So let's pull that cultist, put him in a place where he don't want to be, and after that probably just go for a stun or something, yeah, if there's a... Actually no, there can't even be a breakthrough. Oh, he's gonna go Demon's Pull. Okay, I see. Yeah, you can't even go for a breakthrough right now, because I mean, you're gonna drop to Death Star, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm gonna drop a Punish here, because I do still have to heal with the Crusader, so I'm not really worried about dropping this turn once again, since I went first round 1, I get to go first every single round. As long as we have the same number of characters, so that's pretty good. So he's just gonna move forward right now, she's gonna drop down to 0, but I'm gonna drop a heal here on the Bounty Hunter. So I keep the, the Fire Chant in, in his place, right? I don't think he has to go for anything dumb. And right now, if you want to go forward with Breakthrough, then kind of like be my guest, I, I guess. Actually, do you do 7 damage? It's very unlikely, very, very, very unlikely, especially with the 10% Uh Yes, she only rolls for 6, and that was probably the max roll. So now we get to take this Hellion, and then it's uh, it's a 3v2, and again, I still have match. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm saying that a lot because it's true, you know, with, with the Flagellant here, you kind of don't have a shot. So Akash, you can surrender anytime you want because you're not gonna win this. You're not gonna win this. I'm not lying to you, you don't have a shot here. So we'll just skip until that happens. Of course my opponent is stubborn, so it's gonna take a little bit, but yeah. We'll just skip until it happens. Alright, and there we go. So my stubborn opponent made this last a little longer than it should have, but at least Bounty Hunter was about to die, and that's gonna be the GG. So that's going to be 7 matches for Shepherd Doggy and the end of the video because I do have to go. So I will continue this win streak another time if we do want to definitely try out the team. I will say that misplay I did earlier was purely based on the lack of experience I have with this team because I mean I've probably like like 12 matches with it counting D7. So I really don't have too many wins with it. I just saw it in the tournament last week and as I said yesterday and uh, you know I'm trying to gain some practice with it. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the matches and I'll see you again another time. Cheers!